hello to our viewers welcome back to our channels to our channel sorry we, today we'll be talking about the next step of uh, uh, treatment for the deer so last week we just uh, visited his oncologist and uh, he decided to proceed to chemotherapy and this is where the hardest part of our life to make really a decision because the doctor has given us the uh, uh, two sides of this chemotherapy. The, uh, actually, he said, it was explained to us that it's not really the, uh, it cannot cure really the cancer. It's just a sort, uh, so, uh, sort of a palliative one versus the uh, effect of some risk of this treatment so hello mama can Me. you can you tell our viewers how you reach and uh, the decision to uh, really proceed into chemotherapy uh, after a long period of decision with my daughter with my wife with the doctor we decide to proceed to this chemotherapy I will see the result after. Until now, we are under the decision on the therapy. Have you understand the reason why in the first place you are uh, in the... Uh, we are in the times that you are almost not to do it because uh, of the risk, the risk uh, therapies can bring about. Yeah. So uh, the doctor uh, explained to us mm -hmm. how to do this and make it good together. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, the doctor said the kind of cancer Didier has is uh, the very the rare kind of, of lung cancer because he has the cell type of lung cancer wherein it can grow rapidly, it can uh, spread so rapidly and that chemotherapy cannot be assured that it can really help to cure the uh, cancer that was the doctor is telling us. But in this chemotherapy he was telling us, it can uh, uh, stop or it can slow down the spread of the cancer to other parts of his body. So in this way, because he's been given strong medication, uh, strong chemotherapy drugs, it can be expected that he will uh, lost, or I mean, the, the, the capacity of his immune body to lower down. So in this way, the doctor is afraid or the doctor is thinking about incoming infections in between because of his low immunity after. So that is the risk the doctor is thinking about this because at the moment, uh, Didier is still very weak. And the proposed chemotherapy is supposed to have, I mean, it will be done for four uh months supposedly or that can be extended into six months because the next week as a the starting week it has to be done in three days it has to be done monday tuesday and wednesday monday uh, uh first day and the second day and the third day and for three weeks has to he has to have a rest at home then uh, next proceed again to the next set of chemotherapy in three days straight again then rest for three weeks then another set until four times he will receive it mm. and to maybe extend it to, to six months and uh, this uh, treatment has to be done in the hospital it will be starting at 11 o'clock. He has to be the, taken from here by ambulance to the hospital and been given two injections, two chemotherapy drugs in one day. And 
maybe staying in the hospital for three to four hours, then he will come back at home. Then the next day, Tuesday, he has to go back again at the same time, 11, and will receive same two chemotherapy drugs and come back. And so on the third uh, day, on the, uh, next uh, Wednesday. Yeah, I know. Then uh, the doctor also explained to us that uh, it can be so dangerous if infections would come into in between the, the times of chemotherapy so he cannot be assured that uh, life could be something like sustaining it so it's the point that it's too hard for us to decide because of normally really we don't want to lose our didier but at this point we decide nothing to lose if we will submit ourselves for a treatment because this is the only way and uh, this is the only way to do it in order to have uh, to live a few moments or to extend a few times of his life and it's really so hard but then all these things, these uh, doctors gives us all the preparation anyway uh, before the treatment he is given some injection uh, to fight this ill effect of chemotherapy like nausea and vomiting and after the three sets, the three days of the chemotherapy is over, she will be receiving also <laughs> a subcutaneous injections of, uh, in order to, to increase the, the immune system of DDR in order to, to, to fight any infections that would come. In, in between these uh, sessions. So, at the moment, we are still enjoying the times. So we still have Saturday and Sunday to enjoy your life. Enjoy life. Because by Monday, that is the first day of his uh, chemotherapy. Oh God, the only one that holds our destiny. So we are always entrusting. We, we do entrust thanks to God. That's it. And um, one thing also, the, the whole team, the Asha did the Opito Adomisel, the staff, the whole staff, has also revised the new uh, treatment for him. The dietitian has also visited him because in this period he has to be given uh, good nutrition, more protein in order to fight infections. So the dietitian just came and gave us the copy. The menu has to be done for him the whole uh, session week. yeah the whole week of the session and uh, so we are appealing to our viewers to please help pray for us because nothing we we never hold anything on our hand what would happen next to the year that is really the life now we are facing so that's it for now. Thank you and see you next. Yeah.